Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the bottom door seal on your dishwasher. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to pull the dishwasher partly out of our cabinets. So the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect the power. If your model uses a cord, simply unplug it. If not, locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. Now, as you only need to pull that dishwasher out about eight or 10 inches, you may not need to disconnect your inlet water supply or your drain hose or your electrical. If you can't pull the dishwasher out that far, you will need to disconnect the appropriate supply. We'll also need to disconnect the two mounting tabs that secure your dishwasher to the bottom of your countertop for sure. Once we've done that, we can then pull the dishwasher out and begin the repair. Now that we have our supplies disconnected and our dishwasher pulled out of the cabinet, we're next gonna open up that door. We'll remove the cutlery basket. And you should probably remove the lower rack as well and just set that aside. Now next we're going to remove the screws that secure the outer door panel to the inner door panel. These are typically a number 15 Torx head screw. Take note that the ones across the top are longer. You just hold that door together as you remove the final screw. Tilt it up. And we're going to allow that outer door panel to separate. Lift up on it. That releases it from the two hinge brackets. And then we're just going to set that aside. Now our next step will be to disconnect the door links from the actual bottom of the hinge. So we wanna make sure that the door is in a closed position first. The dishwasher's out far enough that we can grasp that cord. And use caution, we don't wanna damage that cord. We're just gonna pull on it enough to stretch the spring to release the tension so that we can unhook the link from the hinge. So do the same on both sides. And once we have both of those links removed from the bottom of the hinge, our next step is to open the door. But keep in mind that there's no tension on that, so you need to support the weight of the door as you open it. Lower it to a fully open position. And then we're gonna remove two screws on each side at the bottom of that inner door panel that, that secures it to the hinge. Do the same on the opposite side. Now just carefully tilt the door upwards. While grasping both sides of that inner door panel, just kind of lift it away from the hinge. Turn it completely upside down. You can tilt the hinges up out of the way. Now we can go to the back side of that door seal and remove the mounting screws. Now with that inner door panel laying face down, we're going to remove these five screws. They're a 3 16 hex head screw. Just peel the old seal away from the door. Then we'll clean up that area first before we install the new seal. Now when reinstalling the new lower seal, we want to make sure that these slots on each end engage the ends of the inner door panel. As well, there are three little tabs in the middle. Again, need to be able to clip over those tangs on that inner door panel. We 
making sure the screw holes line up. And then reinstall all five screws. Now, once we have that seal installed, we can then flip that inner door panel over and reattach it to our hinge brackets. So carefully line up the screw holes. Make sure the curved end of that spacer goes on the bottom. And do the opposite side. Now we can tilt that door up into a closed position. Actually push it till it latches. And then we'll reconnect the door hinge links. Again, grasp that cord with your pliers. Being careful not to damage it. Stretch the spring, make sure that that link fits firmly over the bottom of the hinge and that our cord is sitting in those wheels. Do the same on the opposite side. Now when reinstalling the outer door panel, we want to take note of these little tabs on the inside edge of that outer door panel. And those are going to just fit down over top of this portion of the hinge bracket. That will support that door, albeit it will set a little bit lower, but it'll hold it in place until you can line it up. So make sure both sides engage with the respective hinge brackets. And it should sit just like that. So next we'll pull the door open. We'll lift up slightly on it so that we can engage the control panel. So make sure that the top edge of that outer door panel lies flush with the control panel. Open the door up slightly. And just install a couple of the screws across the top. Then we'll open the door up further and install a couple of screws across the bottom. We can then install the remainder of those door screws. We can now push the dishwasher back into the cabinets. Make sure that we line up the mounting tabs at the top. We're ready to reinstall the lower basket. And the cutlery basket. And secure it to the countertop. Now with the dishwasher pushed back into the cabinets, we need to secure it to the bottom of our countertop with the mounting brackets. 
If you've disconnected any supplies, you'll need to reconnect those. The last thing we need to do is to reconnect the power and your repair is complete.